Hi folks, are you getting traffic jams in your truck stations? Are your truck stations giving you some grief? Do you want to know how to fix those darn truck station woes? If so, this video may be just what you're looking for. The title of this video is, The Trouble with Truck Stations is... Now you could finish that sentence in a whole bunch of different ways. Because you could have all kinds of different troubles depending on the specific circumstances. In today's video, we're going to look at one particular truck station that has given me a pile of headaches. We'll discuss the operational problems, and I'll show you how I went about fixing those problems. Let's get started. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell, so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. So here is a standard small truck station that is not doing very well at all. This truck station supports, in this case, the Cedar Rapids Steel Mill. You can see in the Cedar Rapids Steel Mill overview that the input rule is two iron ore and two coal will get one unit of steel. To round out the story, I also have a cargo train station on the left that brings iron ore to the steel mill. There are seven truck lines utilizing this truck station. Three iron ore and three coal lines supplying the steel mill and one truck line at present delivering the steel. So before we try to fix this truck station, let's take a look at a truck station that is operating well to see what we can learn from it. Now here's a truck station that's operating quite well. Now granted, there's only one truck line going in and out of this truck station and there aren't that many trucks, but there are some things we can observe. So first off, you can see that the trucks always move counterclockwise within the truck station itself. The second thing to notice is that the trucks always load and unload from the right hand side. So that's how the artificial intelligence in the game is driving our trucks through the truck station. Now let's go back and take a look at that truck station that's not doing very well at all. So let's reconfigure this truck station. And we do that by clicking on the truck station itself. And up pops the Cedar Rapids Exchange truck station menu. Now under the overview we can see that there are seven lines using this particular station. And at the bottom of that panel we can see the word configure and the little symbol of a wrench. So let's left click with our mouse on configure. And up pops our configuration options. In this case, in terms of settings, I have no tram track or electrical services and I'm going to leave it as a no. Now it may be overdoing it just a little bit, but to make sure there is little or no traffic congestion inside the station, I will create seven cargo platforms and assign each of the seven lines its own platform or its own terminal. Also to minimize congestion, I will assign the steel delivery trucks to the cargo platform that will be on the far left hand side and I'll talk about that as I do this reconfiguration. But for starters, let's add some cargo platforms. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, we're at a total of six, and there's seven, one for each of the lines. The next thing we're going to do is change the street access. So we'll click on the station entrance and put a one-way entrance in the top left of the station. We'll also put a station exit in the bottom right. Now while I'm here, I'm going to bulldoze the previous entrance, which we don't need anymore. And when I do that, I get a little warning sign because I've severed the lines. But we're going to fix that. So now we need to connect our entrance and our exit to our road system. So we click on road. And we're in the country, so a country road is fine. And a medium country road ought to do it. We don't need a bus lane and we don't need any tram track. 
Let's connect that. And let's connect that. And the last thing to do is to assign each line its own cargo platform. This truck line here is the Cedar Rapids Exchange Steel Trucks. And those are the trucks that load and deliver the steel. Now I like to have my settings on load all. So the trucks will stay until they're totally loaded. Which means there will be a little bit of a lineup. And for that reason I want this line to pick up on this far left platform. Let's assign the Cedar Rapid Exchange steel trucks to this platform. We do that by clicking on Terminal, going to the Cedar Rapids Exchange steel trucks, and going to Terminal 7. And for the rest of them, I'm just going to spread them out, each at an individual terminal. There's one, Terminal 2, 3, Terminal 4, Terminal 5, and Terminal 6. So now each of the seven lines has its own platform. Now I've hit Start, and this may take a few minutes for it to work itself out. But now that we have an entrance on the top left and an exit on the bottom right, that should facilitate the counterclockwise movement of the trucks within the truck station itself. So let's just let the game play for a little while, and then we'll come back and we'll see how our new truck station is doing. So here's our finished product in operation. Generally it looks like things are moving pretty smoothly. There still are quite a few trucks but we don't have any backups at the entrance to the truck station and the trucks appear to have an unimpeded exit on their way out of the station. So I would say it's problem solved. Mission accomplished. So there you have it folks. We took a small truck station that was all jammed up with trucks and we turned it into an efficient trucking operation. Now it may be possible to further optimize the efficiency and reduce the cost of the station by eliminating some of the cargo platforms, but that's probably a topic for another video. If you have any questions, please note them in the comments below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any Transport Fever 2 topics you would like to see a tutorial on, please note that in the comments below too because I am always looking for video ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.